Hi, uh, you're watching the Uzbek channel. I'm Adriana Baranek and this is Madin Baranek, uh, Miadria Group Hi. CTO. And today we will be talking about the future of the corporate networking. Um, uh, Madin is wearing the CMNA uh, Meraki shirt, which is not a paint endorsement. It was by chance and I didn't notice before we left the house. So <laughs> this is the reason why he's wearing this shirt. The theme is ne corporate networking, so it kind of wraps up uh, with it, but uh, we will be talking into more details. Um, um, Lana has a lot of experience in uh, working for telcos. Uh, he has lots of experience with networking, and he's really the right person to give us his take on the future of the corporate networking. Um, uh, on our channel, we already have this video about the, the uh, internet versus intranet. Uh, can you tell us something about that for a start to kick it off. Mm -hmm. So, uh, historically, networking uh, was uh, a multi vendor and multi protocol. Uh, in recent years, somehow everybody started using uh, internet protocol, so uh, things uh, became less complicated, but uh, uh, at one point in time, uh, there was this invention of intranet, where companies deployed their private uh, uh, private network with uh, uh, only very limited access to the public internet, and somehow that served both as uh, that that isolation served both as a protection of their. Uh, internal resources and uh, enable them to better manage uh, their uh, uh, own networking environment. But the last 10 or uh, 15 years, with the advent of mobile networking, with wireless uh, and uh, especially with public cloud, this whole notion of having an isolated private network uh, is becoming kind of meaningless because uh, applications are no more on premise. Most of applications are in public cloud, and uh, client machines are not desktops. Uh, some people are using notebooks, but almost everybody has a mobile phone, and mobile phone usually uh, does not uh, go through the internet, it goes to uh, internet to, to public applications and uh, to, to some extent it is more a burden uh, uh, to enable connectivity from mobile devices to uh, intranet then uh, you get benefit so uh, uh, currently the idea is that uh, enterprises are moving from this uh, intranet environment to public internet and that is where a lot of challenges are coming from mm -hmm. and this um, notion that security is uh, somehow far more advanced in inter intranet environment than on the internet is that really true or is that uh, really a, a big misconception oh it's quite opposite so th there is a huge problem of uh, legacy applications and legacy infrastructure that is not really uh, uh, proved and it's not secure so there there are a lot of issues with unsecure uh, uh, protocols used in uh, intranet environment and mechanisms to provide identity management and protection are not sufficient to survive uh, on the uh, open internet, a, a public internet environment. So th there are a lot of challenges with security in intranet mm -hmm. uh, applications. And anyway, uh, business to business and uh, um, uh, uh, consumer to business communication is done over public internet. So. APIs and how uh, a security is done, it's of paramount concern and that, that is something that is much more improved mm -hmm. uh, in, in uh, a public internet environment than mm -hmm. on, uh, on the internet. Mm -hmm. And how do you, do you see uh, corporate networking evolving? We still see lots of legacy uh, networking uh, done in many 
large organizations, uh, it is not an easy task to migrate uh, to the new world, uh, either from the application point of view, moving from the on-prem to the cloud, or from the networking point of view. How do you see this evolving in the near future? Somehow, end users are demanding public internet applications, software as a service uh, applications, and uh, a lot of client machines are becoming mobile devices, mm -hmm. especially with uh, 3G, 4G, and in the future with 5G networking. It will become uh, a kind of a ridiculous situation where mobile devices will be much faster and more capable than. Uh, um, uh, current internet uh, internet uh, uh, clients and uh, to, to some extent a uh, uh, problem will solve itself by moving from uh, 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 a complexity from uh, enterprise environment to uh, public cloud vendors uh, who will offer uh, identity management and security to protect uh, software as a service applications. Mm -hmm. And when we are talking about the networking equipment used within the companies, um, uh, for now lots of companies are using Cisco and Cisco um, old school uh, networking equipment. How do you see this market moving and how do you see the demand in that uh, um, um, part of the market uh, moving? Uh, which devices will be uh, more welcome in companies as we move along? So uh, currently a lot of companies invested in uh, virtual private networking and in uh, uh, various gateway uh, uh, devices capable of the packet inspection and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So most of uh, that market will go down because it really doesn't make sense to uh, 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 do that kind of networking uh, anymore. Th there is a, a lot of uh, <coughs> demand for uh, wireless and for uh, uh, managing uh, control plane from dashboards and through APIs. So traditionally, uh, networking equipment was managed through command line interface and some very rudimentary uh, protocols like SNMP. But in the future, uh, and even now, th there is a, a trend of automation to, to increase both uh, transparency and security and there is a trend of uh, uh, moving control plane from network element level uh, to a whole network mm -hmm. so that you can manage a whole network and understand what is going on on your uh, network level and not on uh, some not only on some specific device mm -hmm. Yeah, and what are the vendors that might shine in the near future in that regard? Do you see any devices that are especially... So, it is hard to say how that market will uh, evolve, but some uh, trends will shape uh, future, like introduction of uh, IPv6 requirements mm -hmm. and uh, 5G uh, uh, and Wi-Fi 6 uh, requirements in enterprise environments. So, so uh, I I would not com comment on uh, specific uh, vendors in in, mm -hmm. in their uh, Fair enough. Uh, portfolios at mm -hmm. the moment. Okay, uh, so um, it is not strictly corporate networking, but uh, one part that is missing from many companies today still is the mobile device management. The bring your own device policy was a, a big buzzword uh, and has been for a while, but still mobile device management has not become an integral part of uh, securing your data, of securing your network. Uh, can you tell us more about that? So mobile, so this whole 
client management, including mobile device management, is one part of the puzzle, but ideal solution would actually manage both network and uh, clients, so e that you would be able to have a, a seamless roaming, uh, a security, or you would be able to set up uh, encryption keys on devices, uh, and uh, uh, or not only clients but uh, Wi-Fi access points and establish secure communication uh, within your uh, within your uh, mm -hmm. uh, network and this is uh, area where this APIs and uh, automation comes into play uh, one of such solutions is for example Cisco Meraki where basically you do not manage only a specific uh, access point or security mm -hmm. device, you can manage whole network and you can uh, configure, uh, for example, SSID with uh, uh, some uh, uh, encryption requirements and at the same time you can uh, manage uh, notebooks or uh, mobile devices and uh, uh, propagate how they will connect to to your uh, network and you can track actually what's going on uh, on application and on device level so mm -hmm. you, you can see w what is going on in your uh, in your enterprise network mm -hmm. Great. And um, I'm, I think that uh, as uh, Cisco partners, we have the opportunity to give out um, links to webinars after which you can receive uh, free Cisco Meraki routers. So if you're interested, please write to us at miadre.miadre.com and we can set you up with that. Um, with regard to the future of the corporate networking, um, uh, this uh, entire intranet um, uh, story, when do you think it will become obsolete? With the introduction of 5G networking mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when uh, devices will start relying on um, wireless connectivity more than on fixed connectivity. So mm -hmm. then uh, um, classical enterprise networking with uh, uh, gateways, the packet inspection devices, uh, spam filters and stuff like that will uh, become thing of the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it will be a very interesting future. Yeah, and uh, you can uh, uh, feel even today that most of your uh, end users are equipped with mobile devices either personal or corporate that are quite capable of communicating with public internet and in many cases they have uh, better throughput and better connectivity uh, using their own mobile devices than uh, intranet environment if, if that's the case then you have a problem and uh, you can start thinking how you can uh, start utilizing these new new capabilities that are available on the market. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to say for today? Yeah, thank you for joining us and hope to see you in the future. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> we will be talking about this topic uh, soon again, I'm sure because it is one of the crucial topics on the internet. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.